Pregnancy from week 1 to week 40, we will take a fascinating journey through the gestation of a human being week by week, from the very beginning all the way through the end of pregnancy. Week 1. Most doctors count pregnancy starting from the first day of your last period. So, according to doctors, one week pregnant means you're on your period and not pregnant yet. Week 2. In your ovary, an egg is maturing and by the end of the second week will be released into your fallopian tube. At week 3, you've officially conceived. Right after fertilization, the egg goes through a process of cell division. It divides into two cells, then four cells, then eight, and continues to divide as it moves from the fallopian tube to the uterus, where implantation occurs. During week 4, the placenta and amniotic sac are beginning to form. Your baby is now 0.22 millimeters in size. At week 5, the foundations for all of the major organs are in place. The baby is inside an amniotic sac, a bag of fluid that protects it. During week 6, your baby's head is taking shape. The cheeks, chin, and jaws are beginning to form. At week 7, your baby is now 10 millimeters in length from head to bottom. It's growing rapidly and generating new brain cells at a rate of 100 per minute. At week 8, your baby is now half an inch, it's growing at a rate of 1 millimeter a day, and the lips, nose, and eyelids are forming. At week 9, your baby is now 1 inch long and tiny muscles are starting to form. Toes are visible and baby's heart, brain, kidneys, liver, and lungs begin to develop. During week 10, tiny tooth buds are developing under the gums. Baby is now one and a half inches long. Bones and cartilage are forming. Knees and ankles are starting to take shape and tiny elbows are already working. At week 11, baby's fingers and toes are separating. Fingernail and toenail beds are also beginning to develop. At week 12, your baby is now 2.25 inches and weighs half an ounce. Baby's bone marrow is making white blood cells. At week 13, baby is 3 inches and weighs 1 ounce. Vocal cords are forming and baby's eyes are developing, but with the eyelids fused shut as they continue to develop. At week 14, baby is now 3.5 to 4 inches and weighs 2 ounces. It's getting chubbier by the day and may be starting to grow hair on their head, eyebrows, and body. Their genitals are now fully developed. At week 15, your baby is 4 inches, 2 and a half ounces. Baby's skin is super thin, allowing blood vessels to show through. Their skeleton is starting to ossify, and the ears and eyes are moving into their rightful spots on baby's face and head. At week 16, baby is 4 and a half inches and weighs 4 ounces. Their heart pumps 25 quarts of blood a day. They can make sucking motions, and their eyes can perceive some light, even though they're still closed. At week 17, your baby is 5 inches and 5 ounces. They are learning to swallow and are starting to develop fingerprints. Their ears are close to being fully formed and they're starting to hear their mother's voice. Fat stores are beginning to develop under baby's skin. At week 18, baby is 5 and a half inches and 6 ounces. Their fingerprints and toe prints are well developed now. They've just learned to yawn and can hiccup now too. At week 19, baby is 6 inches and weighs 8 ounces. A protective coating called vernix caseosa covers your baby's skin. Their lungs are developing with the main airways called bronchioles beginning to form now. At week 20, baby is 6 and a half inches and weighs 10 ounces. They are becoming more active each day, kicking, punching, and turning around. At week 21, babies start being measured from crown to heel instead of crown to rump like before. Keeping this in mind, baby now measures 10 and a half inches long and weighs 12 ounces. Baby's liver and spleen have been producing blood cells before, but now the bone marrow is developed enough to help too. They start swallowing a bit of amniotic fluid each day. They have just developed taste buds now too. At week 22, baby is 10.9 inches long and weighs 1 pound. Their nervous system is sharpening the five senses and their fingers are learning to grab. At week 23, baby is 11 inches and weighs 1.2 pounds. The placenta, baby's recently completed life support system, transfers oxygen and nutrients to baby and removes waste products. At week 24, baby is 11 and a half inches and 1.3 pounds. It's putting on more and more weight now much of it coming from accumulating baby fat along with growing muscles, organs, and bones. 
At week 25, baby is 13 inches and weighs 1.5 pounds. Their startle reflexes are now developing. At week 26, your baby is 14 inches and weighs 2 pounds. Their eyelashes are starting to grow in and their eyes are just beginning to open. At week 27, baby is 14.5 inches and weighs 2 pounds. Your baby can recognize your voice and their taste is very developed now. At week 28, baby is 15 inches and weighs 2.25 pounds. They begin to experience REM sleep and they are settling into the proper position for birth, head down. At week 29, your baby is 15.5 inches and 2.5 pounds. They begin to smile, especially in their sleep. At week 30, your baby is 16 inches and 3 pounds. Their brain is growing quickly and baby's bone marrow has completely taken over production of red blood cells. At week 31, your baby is 16.2 inches long and weighs 3.3 pounds. It's putting in longer stretches of snooze time, specifically REM sleep. At week 32, baby is 16.7 inches and weighs 3.8 pounds. All of their major organs are fully developed now except for the lungs. Your baby's skin is now opaque instead of transparent. At week 33, baby is 17 inches and weighs 4.25 pounds. The plates of bone in your baby's skull are still fairly pliable which makes it easier for him to squeeze down the birth canal. They drink up to a pint of amniotic fluid a day and your baby is gaining about half a pound per week now. At week 34, baby is 17 and a half inches and weighs 5 pounds. Vernix begins to thicken now, but baby starts shedding it in a few weeks. At week 35, baby is 18 inches and 5 and a quarter pounds. Their shoulders, arms, and legs are getting more plump. With less space in your uterus, baby's movements have changed from kicks and punches to rolls and wiggles. At week 36, baby is 18 and a half inches and weighs 6 pounds. It has developed more dexterity in its fingers and can now grasp small objects. It inhales and exhales amniotic fluid and it's sucking its thumb a lot now in preparation for feeding sessions after birth. At week 37, your baby is 19 inches and weighs 6 and a half pounds. It's blinking a lot now, its dexterity is even better and it's still gaining half a pound a week. At week 38, baby is 19 and a half inches and weighs 7 pounds. Their eyes are blue, gray, or brown, but once they're exposed to light, they may change color or shade. By their first birthday, they'll have their true eye color. Baby's lungs have strengthened and their vocal cords are developed. At week 39, baby is 20 inches and 7 and a half pounds. While baby's body isn't growing as much, his brain is. It's already 30% bigger than it was just four weeks ago. At week 40, baby is 20 and a half inches on average and weighs 8 pounds. Your baby is now full term. At the very end of pregnancy, the placenta is still providing the antibodies baby needs to fight off infections for the first six months of life after birth.